Be safe, be seen. Stage three of the Santos Festival of Cycling. The third and final stage of the race. The blue jersey for the overall race leader starting on the shoulders of Ruby Rose Mangannon with the slender lead over Maeve Plouffe at eight seconds behind. Emily Watts starting the day at 13 seconds behind. As they headed out, Kimberly Conti dropping the flag just two kilometres away from the first of two gravel sections. And it was, not surprisingly, an aggressive start. There were lots of attacks to see whether somebody could force a breakaway and have Bike Exchange spend the day chasing. Amongst those enjoying the gravel, Australian cyclocross champion Peter Mullins of the Rock Salt Live Shram team. She got some company quickly and it was quality company. Amongst them, Ruth Corset. Unfortunately, back in the peloton from the Garmin Australia team, the bronze medalist from this year's national championships, also then a 23 Australian road champion, Alyssa Politis was down and she was out of the race. Heading towards the first of the intermediate sprints in Lobethal, it was the national champion, Nicole Frayne, going on the attack. The reaction coming from Knights of Suburbia's Georgie Howe. She was looking to get some points in the race for the zip track intermediate sprints, but also the time bonuses. For Nicole Frame, picking up the three second time bonus, moving her just a little closer in the overall standings getting her up onto a podium position. She was then quickly joined by the overall race leader, Ruby Rose Mangannon, who even shared a gel with one of her rivals. Carbohydrates shared amongst the peloton. They were quickly reeled back in by ARA Pro Racing Sunshine Coast in the hope that Maeve Plouffe could steal the stage and take the overall honours. As there was a lull in the peloton, it was Elizabeth Young from Butterfields Racing who made the most of the opportunity. Soon after her, it was Ella Bloor from Inform Team X Make who was trying to go across. She got within 20 seconds, but that was the closest she managed to get to Young, who at one point built up an advantage of a minute and 43 seconds on the peloton, which had her as the virtual race leader. Back in the peloton, it was the bike exchange team being led by Amanda Spratt protecting the overall race leader as the others were looking to see who would do the chasing of Young as she headed towards the second of the intermediate sprints. She picked up the three points in the three seconds. It was then Ella Bloor for second place. The sprint was on for third. And again, it was the race leader. The perfect lead out from Georgia Baker. Ruby Rose Mangannon getting another one second time bonus, further extending her lead in the general classification. With 20 kilometres remaining, Spratt was still on the front doing the job. A former multiple winner of the Tour Down Under. Young was eventually reeled back in as they headed towards the second of the gravel sections. When they got there, Grace Brown from Team Garmin Australia put herself to the front to see if she could string out the peloton. Soon after that, it was the Kiwi Shepherd who launched a searing attack on one of the climbs before the final Queen of the Mountain which was taken out by Ruth Corset, securing her the Shimano Queen of the Mountains classification. After five years in retirement, she is back with a vengeance. Two kilometres to go across the top of the climb. It was then over to the sprinters. It was Alexandra Manley and Georgia Baker doing the lead out for Ruby Roseman Gannon. Having been second on stages one and two, she made it a win on stage three. In blue for Ruby Roseman Gannon, the stage victory also securing overall race victory. Nicole Frame was second, Georgia Baker was third. Yeah, I think after the last two seconds, I was pretty hungry, and like my team every day, and especially today, have been riding so, so well for me. Like, there's a lot of pressure when you've got such a high caliber of riders riding for you, so I really felt the pressure today. I was really nervous, but I'm so glad I could finish it off. Just, yeah, it's, it's a dream. <laughs> A dream come true for Ruby Rose Ben-Gannon collecting the stage ahead of the Australian champion Nicole Frame. It was then her teammate Georgia Baker in third position. Reynolds, Mullins, Jones, Corset, Field, De Francesco, and Watts rounding out the top 10 on the stage. For the general classification, it was an 18 second victory for Ruby Rose Ben-Gannon ahead of Nicole Frame. Maeve Plouffe just holding on to third on account back ahead of Georgia Baker. Emily Watts rounding out the top five, also taking out the Cervelo Best Young Rider classification. Roseman Gannon with the blue jersey as the overall race winner, flanked by second and third. Nicole Frayne in second, Maeve Plouffe in third.